Hello, everybody. My name is Hannibal Bray, and welcome to Perfect Day Lifestyle. I'm on here today with um, with my good friend. Uh, go ahead, tell everybody uh, what what's your name. Uh, my name is Sean Grasick. How's it going? Awesome. Well, Sean, I appreciate you coming on here tonight. Um, we were just catching up earlier today, and you've got a story that people need to hear. So if you're you know if you're watching this here. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment here. Let us know where you're watching this from. Uh, let it, if you know Sean, let us know how you know Sean. Uh, a lot of people are going to see this, um, and, and this is going to educate you a little bit. It's going to inspire you, and, and I'm, I'm just excited for everybody who gets to see this. But, um, Sean, give everybody, just for the people who maybe don't know you, just really briefly, what's, what's your background? Um, what kind of work do you do? Um, I live in Connecticut, Middletown, Connecticut, and um, I work in aerospace manufacturing. I'm an inspector. Had the job for about two years now. Very cool. And you, um, and you have a, we share a military background too. I was an army veteran for eight years. I flew helicopters, jumped out of perfectly good airplanes. Um, what did, oh, oh, show that off again. Yeah, this is, uh, you might be familiar with that little helicopter there. Oh yeah. It's a black, it's a black hawk on my, uh, my nine line shirt there. Yes, sir. What, now, what did you do in the Army? Uh, I did a couple things. Um, when I was active duty for four years, I was um, in communications, working in a radio shelter pretty much. Um, and then in the National Guard for four years, I was a mechanic. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you very much for your service. We definitely you're appreciate, you, appreciate you and, and the work that you're doing now. Uh, it still, still, still supports the military, right? It does. Yeah, we make engines, uh, jet engines for military and commercial. Awesome. Um, now you and I got connected um, recently, recently, a little over a month ago. Um, how did, tell everybody, how did we get connected? What was it that, uh, what, you know, what, what, you know, what was it that you saw? Did you talk to me first or what, what did you, what did you see first? I've never met you in person. Um, I actually just answered a Facebook ad and uh, we connected and we just started getting uh, rolling pretty much is what happened. And what, what was it that you saw? What did, what did you um, see in that ad or, or after, after we got on the phone, what was it that, um, that clicked for you? Um, well, I saw you, uh, especially you and others, um, to have great success in what you uh, have been doing. Um, great weight loss um, success, um, something I was highly interested in because I've been trying a couple things myself. And um, the results that you guys have proven uh, yourselves who has got me interested got me hooked mm -hmm. and I think at that time I had lost about 60 pounds or so I think the pictures I shared with you I'm, I'm down 80 pounds now I, and I've been at this for six months and I had the weight to lose people are like oh my gosh I can't believe you lost that much weight trust me I had it to lose and my story real quick is I'm a I'm a 45 year old new dad of an eight month old baby boy and for the two years kind of leading up to that I've been making really bad food choices I was traveling a lot for work, had a really busy, demanding uh, schedule as a, as a sales rep in medical devices. And my wife was in, in school at the time. She went back to school for a second career. So that was for a year. Um, so so we were, I was making really bad food choices because I was traveling. She was, she was in school. And then we got pregnant, right? So n for nine months, she's gaining weight. Um, so I gained all the sympathy weight with her. You know, I had to be a good supportive husband, you know? So I packed on the pounds. Uh, and it was cool up until about 90 days after the baby was born, because by three months, my petite wife lost all the weight, you know, mainly from breastfeeding. Um, and she had really good, you know, genes and metabolism to begin with, but she'd lost all the weight and I hadn't. And I, I looked in the mirror and I found myself, I'm the heaviest I've ever been at 263 pounds. I just didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way I felt. Uh, I didn't have the energy to keep up with, a, with an infant. Um, and you know, so I had a couple of reasons why for getting started. One, I wanted to be there for my son. Uh, I wanted to be around. I wanted to be able to contribute to the family. I just felt like I was worthless. You know, I, I, I had no energy, uh, and I wanted to set a good example for my son, not to mention, you know, look better, feel better. It was less about me as it was about my family. And I, I set a goal. I wrote it down. I wanted to lose 50 pounds and I was going to be happy if I lost 40 pounds. Um, but I had some preconceived notions about what it takes to lose weight. I thought you had to just work out, go to the gym, deprive yourself. All, all this stuff that I learned over the years. I was a, I was a wrestler. Uh, I was an athlete, Division One athlete at the Military Academy at West Point. Um, uh, wore the sauna suits, did all that crazy stuff. I was an officer in the Army. 
you know, so we stayed really active and I could kind of get away with eating what I wanted. Um, but I just, I, what, I've, what I've learned over these last few months is I was really ignorant to uh, a lot of core uh, truths about nutrition. And there's so many myths and a lot of propaganda and marketing out there. And so if, if you're somebody who's, you know, gained weight or it's been hard to lose weight, it, it's not all your fault, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of confusion out there. And uh, this program that, that I went through and Sean's gone through uh, really helped with that. But um, I'm getting ahead of myself. So Sean, what, what, why did you get started? Okay, so you, I mean, you saw people like me getting results. Um, you're like, all right, maybe there's something to this. Even though you didn't really know me, you saw enough to get started. But, you know, why did you get started? Uh, I got started um, for a few reasons. You know, I'm 38 years old and working full time like you now. I have a young family. I got three young kids. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time between work, taking care of the home and the family. And I've let this dad bod kind of creep up. And um, to be honest, I haven't been happy with my health since getting out of the army. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just kind of slowly progressed into something that um, generally just been unhappy with and been wanting a change. So after seeing these results and seeing you guys get these results without the exercise, you know, I don't need a gym membership to do this. I don't really need any extra time. Right. Because they, we told, what did we tell you? We said, don't work out for the first 60 days, right? Right. Don't even yeah. do it. But, but matter of fact, I mean, I've gotten to the point where, you know, you've lost an incredible amount of weight because you had it. And mm -hmm. um, honestly, I didn't have that much to lose, but you know, we all have our own goals. And so I wanted to, you know, get the body that I wanted. I, I knew that it was possible. I've seen other people do it. And without having to do all the hard work, there's really not really any hard work to this, which is the great thing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to report I'm down 100, 187 pounds down. And I've kind of plateaued. So now- so you started, you started, so you're, you're at 187 now, you started at what? So I started April 23rd. So I'm actually less than 30 days into the program and I've lost 13 pounds. So you um, lost 13 four, pounds, but you were, you, you were telling me you were, you were following another program kind of right before you started and you lost how much on that program? Correct. Um, I had done the ketogenic diet uh, sort of last year for two months straight. And then I started March 1st doing keto again because I had actually gotten really good results. Um, but I hadn't tracked them last year. And I said, you know, this time I'm going to track things. You know, there was a, a good, um, good, uh, feedback from people you know i felt good i got good feedback and said this time i'm going to track it so march 1st i even went to got a physical done i got blood work done uh, which is kind of eye-opening um so anyways the weight alone that i lost from doing keto from march to april 23rd uh was 18 pounds i started at 218 and here i am down at 187 so i lost about 18 pounds so like 31 pounds total, like 18 pounds from doing keto and then like 13 pounds with this so far. Is that about right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And there's some element like, look, we're not here to like say, ooh, we're better than keto. Like there, there's some elements of a ketogenic diet in the perfectly balanced meal plan that we follow. But the program that, that I've followed and Sean's 30 days, not even 30 days into, it's, um, it's a meal plan, but it's not just a meal plan. There's a lot more to it. There, there's... There's an exercise plan, which is counterintuitive because we don't want you to work out for the first 60 days. We just want you to walk. Uh, it involves drinking lots of water, staying you know, supremely hydrated. It's a big part of it. It involves getting plenty of sleep every night. And that was the, big, that was the hardest thing for me. I really discounted um, the value of sleep and the healing that happens at night. Um, and then there's some supplemental nutrition, right? So there's some really high quality top shelf supplements that we're taking that that help with detoxing your body. They help nourish your body with all the right nutrients. And then they help you create those, those positive habits. Um, but, um, but you got started. Now, the other thing I know you were telling me that you, uh, one of the reasons that one of the things that motivated you, I mean, you wanted to lose the dad bod, you wanted to feel better. You wanted to look better. Um, you maybe kind of let yourself go a little bit. You maybe kind of like lowered the standard or maybe even lowered what you thought was possible. Cause you're like, I, I don't have time to go to the gym all the time. And, that's what you thought it was going to take. That's what I thought it was going to take. Um, but you, you also had a health scare too, right? Can you, I did. Um, can I talk about that just a little bit? Absolutely. Um, so like I said, I started keto, doing keto last year. 
Um, one of the reasons being because I actually suffered from gout, which no one else in my family apparently suffers from. But And I know um, what gout is because I work in healthcare and, and you were telling me a little bit, but people watching this maybe don't know what gout is. Can you just kind of give like a, like a gout 101 or what you've learned about gout or what, what people maybe want to know? And mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, before I suffered from it, you just see gout commercials and they, someone's got uh, – a red glowing toe, they have big flare up and it's, and it's, it's gout, it's uric acid. And what uric acid is, it apparently, uh, I learned it's a, um, we'll have to get too much into it, but apparently you can have uric acid build up from either your body building up too much or not being able to um, get rid of it fast enough. And so when it, and when it gathers up, uh, it forms crystals in your joints, primarily in your feet. And so that's what happened to me. So. That's what it is, pain. and when Tell it happened, story. you said the pain. You you said that the the pain was so bad that the weight of your bed sheet on your foot was like yeah. excruciating. I mean, yeah, that sounds crazy. It's so sensitive. Uh, those crystals cause so much pain that yeah, you can be in bed and just the weight of the bed sheets will just cause excruciating pain. So you you can't ever get comfortable. So I let it kind of build up. So what had happened is I made an appointment for the podiatrist and I said, listen, you need to see me today. I'm coming in today, right after work. I think I even left early. I said, you know, I got to leave. I got to take a half day. I got to get to this appointment. And they knew something was up. I was limping around at work. I had to use tool carts to like support my weight to move around. I felt like I had broken bones in my foot. I was like, this mysterious, you know, broken bone that somehow happened to my foot. So I went, I saw the foot doctor, and she immediately called it what it was. She's like, you know, unfortunately, my friend, you got gout. I said, yeah, that's well and good, but give me an x-ray. Because <laughs> I feel like I have a broken bone in my foot. It's yeah. that bad. So, yeah, I, um, I, I got diagnosed with gout, you know, last year. So that was a wake-up call for you because what you've learned from gout is that um, – one of the one of the causes is is your nutrition, right? Or nutritional deficiency? Is that is that right? Yeah. What I've learned is that um, it's all nutritionally based, and it's either from um, too many purines in your food that you're eating, or I've learned from other studies that um, other people are saying it's from too much sugar um, in your diet. Yeah. So those sort of things are um, things that I learned, and I got to tell you, since starting this program. I haven't had any symptoms of the gout. Every once in a while, like I had three major flare-ups last year. Mm -hmm. Actually, when I first started keto last year, major flare-up. So bad, I had to get shots in my foot. And yeah, yeah, it's painful, but I paid a couple hundred dollars to have shots put on my foot and be put on medication for months at a time. And the medication for gout is about 130 bucks um, for, a, for a month. And for the total year, you're looking at was about five months on this medication, wow. two trips, getting shots in my foot. Because after I got off keto, and I switched back to my regular eating habits. Um, I got gout again. Um, but yeah, wow. and now since starting this program, no, no even hint of a flare up. Yeah. It's just been wonderful. Now, now look, guys, I just, I just want to make sure anybody watching this, you know, we're not, we're not physicians. We're not here to practice uh, uh, medicine or give any medical advice. So we're not going to tell you, hey, follow this program and it's going to cure gout. Okay, that would be irresponsible. Okay, but that's not what we're doing. Um, but I appreciate you sharing your story. And it, and it, sure. and it makes sense to me how um, now that you're focused more on your nutrition and you're following a comprehensive program, not, not just focused on a meal plan or a certain diet with particular macronutrients, but we're really addressing everything that's going on inside your body. And we're giving your body a chance to heal and balance out the hormones, balance out the pH levels. Uh, it just makes sense that when you do that, that um, it's going to reduce the it's going to reduce your susceptibility to you know other illnesses and diseases. So that so that ju that just makes common sense. Um, but I appreciate you sharing that. Um, what um, what would you say is the the biggest thing you learned? Is there one thing that that maybe really kind of surprised you? For me, it was the fact when they said, "Don't work out." Don't work out for the first 60 days because until you get within like 10, 15 pounds of your target weight, um, exercise can actually be more harmful than good because of all the inflammation that's in our cells. And now that I'm like, you know, I'm, I, was, I was 182 today. After starting out at 263, I weighed in at 182 today after my run. Um, and I, I, had a, I felt great on my run. 
um, because I've been, I've been eating clean for these last six months. I've been prioritizing my hydration, my sleep, all this stuff. So I was able to go out and go on a really long run today uh, and I'll be a little bit sore tomorrow, but, um, but I won't, I won't have like all that inflammation like I had before. So that was the biggest thing for me was they said, don't work out in the beginning. Um, so I had, I, I, I felt lazy, you know, I felt lazy. I'm like, geez, I feel like I should be working out. But what was it for you? Was there anything that, um, it was a real surprise for you? Um, well, I'm with you with the, uh, with the, no exercise. Um, yeah. and I am, I'm super excited. Once my knee, I got a little overzealous. So I had a plateau at 187. I got, I got to 187 within, uh, three weeks into the program. So I was like, you know what? Uh, and I contacted you. I'm like, Hey, you know what? I want to lose more. Um, but the scale's not moving. So what should I do? And like, well, you know, less than 10 to 15 pounds is when you really should start doing, yeah. you know, just the car. I told you, you to dial up the water, water too, right? The water. I, yeah. And the yeah. water. How's your water intake? Are you drinking, are you tracking that? I try to, um, drink at least three liters a day. Yeah. Try to up it to, to four. Um, so I got my, my water bottle. I, I continuously fill that up. Um, so I've been doing that. And another good takeaway, um, is that the, um, the the nutrition aspect of it? You know, not focusing on macros, but it, but the micros. And mm -hmm. and what happened was when I was doing keto, um, I kind of like just lifted the, the curtain, so to speak, on my metabolism. But this has you know just opened up um, the whole three hundred and sixty view and shed light on just total health. Yeah. So now I feel just armed with the knowledge to just go out and just keep rocking it you know i'm gonna well, you look great pounds. man like your your che like your cheeks like I've, I've always had the fat cheeks ever since i was a little kid um i'm always gonna have the cheeks but like i can see it in your face man your face is uh your face is getting skinnier i, I know people have been noticing uh, you said you were at church today yeah. um what, what kind of comments did you get uh today at church well what i think what um really uh was impressive was i just bought new pants uh yesterday because all my clothes were hanging off of me so now I'm down to uh, a 34 inch waist. That's a waistline I haven't had since high school. You know, I was in the best shape of my life in the army, but I still never got down to a 34. I was about like a 36. I made my way up to a 38, you know, kind of pushing it there. And you know, I've, I've jumped down to a size 34 waist. So I had to even tuck in my shirt because the shirts that I wear are so baggy that, you know, I'm like, you know what? I got these skinny jeans with these big baggy shirts. I got to buy a whole new wardrobe, really. Uh, uh -huh. That's what I got to find time to do next. So I had tucked nobody in my feels, shirt, my pants. I feel sorry for you, bro. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> problem to have. Everybody hates you right now. Uh, but I'm, I'm proud of you, man. I'm definitely proud of you. And uh, Thanks, I've got a closet full of 34, because I was, I was a 38. Now, my gut was like 45, okay? Like around the fattest part of my gut, I tracked it every single week. My gut has gone from 45 down to 33. So I've lost 12 inches off the fattest part of my gut, but I was wearing pants size 38. Okay. It doesn't mean I fit good in them. It doesn't mean they look good. Uh, I, most times I didn't want to tuck in my shirt. Now I work in, in, in the hospital. I wear scrubs. That's part of the problem too, is I wear scrubs and you can, you know, you can get away. Uh, but I would wear the extra large scrubs. Now I'm wearing size medium scrubs. It's crazy. It's like, how am I fitting into medium scrubs? Um, but I went out, I made the mistake of going out and buying some clothes too early because everything was falling off me. Um, so I went out and bought some 34s for too big. Uh, the 33s are too big. I have to go buy some 32s, wow. maybe even some 31s. So, so my 34s I'll, are uh, loose. Yeah, I might yeah, have I'll to buy the 33s. You, I'll send you my 34s. So uh, I, had, I had to go buy a new belt, all that good stuff. Um, but tell everybody, uh, what, what would you say, Sean, is your, what's your goal? I mean, you're only 30 days into this, okay? But now that you've gotten such, I mean, you'd already lost 18 pounds doing keto, right? Mm -hmm. You've been really strict about it, following all the, uh, all the meal prep and everything for that. Uh, and you had a, a big reason why, because you had to flare up with the gout again. But you got lost 18 pounds with keto, and then you rolled right into this program, um, the Perfect Day Lifestyle, and you lost 13 pounds in less than 30 days, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and you haven't been pushing it in the gym, right? You've, you've just been following these principles. So now that you've had this experience, What's your goal? Now, now, I think you've kind of expanded your vision of what's possible. What's your goal? What, what's the reason? Um, what's keeping you going now, moving forward? 
uh, well, one of my goals was, um, and part of the program was to, you know, get your goals straight. What do you want? And so what I wanted is like, you know, I want the best body possible. I want my best health possible. Um, I wanted to get down to a 34, got there in my eyes in record time. That was a once upon a time thing in my mind, even, even doing the keto thing. And when I was doing keto, I was about, I'd say 80% keto. Uh, you know, I was yeah. cheating here and there. I was doing it all on my own, you know, with a family that wasn't following what I was doing. So it was, it was kind of a bumpy road even to get to the 18 pounds. Um, but my vision is uh, I want to have something I've never had. And that's to have, you know, I want to have like the abs, you know. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I want the health. So I, I want to, you know, I see people in my family that deal with weight related issues. Um, heart issues, back problems, my father, my father-in-law, I know a lot of people who suffer um, from weight-related issues. And, and I want to be an example to my kids. I already see, yeah. like, my kids eat the standard American diet, and I can see the effects that it's having on them at an early age. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I want to be the person that they look up to. I don't want them to look anywhere else. I want them to see, like, hey, look, yeah. this is my dad. Like you, I mean, I know that you're doing this and you're doing it for your son Atticus. You're, you're a new dad and you want to be there for the long run. There's still a lot more life to be had. And I don't feel like you had to accept, you know, the cards that you've been dealt with because you can change it. Um, and you can change it quite easily. Matter of fact, it's really not that hard. There's some discipline, but you stick to the game plan and, you know, results do vary. You know, disclaimer out there. But if you stick to the program like I have, uh, I can almost almost guarantee it's it's up to every individual that you will see results. I I appreciate I appreciate everything you said, um, especially when you're talking about family. I mean, I think we've all got family members that our heart goes out to them. We see that they're maybe not in a great spot. They um, they're obese, right? And we know that obesity is is related to all these age related diseases, heart disease, lung disease diabetes, cancer, that's the bad news. The good news is most of these conditions are preventable and some of them are actually reversible, Mm -hmm. right? Um, But it's not always the easiest conversation to have with with friends or or family. Um, But I think you're doing it the right way. You're, You're just, you know, you're not trying to shove this down anybody's throat. You're just going out there and leading by example. You're doing it for yourself. Some people would say that you were in pretty good shape and you didn't have that much weight to lose, but you knew that you had a higher standard that you wanted to achieve, partly because you were in the military and you, you knew what was possible. Um, but you got, you got young kids like I do too, and you want to set a good example for them. And um, I really admire that, Sean. I think that's uh, we need more of that. We need more folks just you know starting right at home and and just setting a good example. Uh, and man, I'm fired up because I know you're going to be able to help a lot of people. You're, people are going to see this video. Uh, people are going to reach out and be like, Sean, what are you doing? And uh, you're going to share this video with them. Uh, maybe even invite them to one of, our, one of our groups here on Facebook in the Perfect Day Lifestyle or have them get on one of our webinars. Uh, if you guys know Sean and you see what he's been doing, like pick up the phone, call him, message him. Uh, he's a busy guy. I mean, he's working like crazy um, uh, at work, you know. He's got a very demanding, demanding job. They count on him for a lot of stuff. Um, uh, he's got, you know, very busy, active uh, family life. I mean, we're recording. It's like 1130 at night. But this is this is that important. OK, uh, Sean's been getting results. And I said, man, we got to document these results because uh, I know you're just getting started. But I want people to see what's possible in just 30 days. Um, and all the people that I know he can help. So uh, Sean's got the hookup, guys. Reach out to him. Uh, send him a message. Put a comment in here, and he'll 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 reach out to you. Uh, he'll 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 tell you about the program. Uh, the first thing he's going to do, though, before he recommends anything, he's going to ask you about your goals. He's going to ask you, you know, you're going to ask him, how did you lose all this weight? And he'll tell you. Uh, but and that's a great question. But the real question is, how did he get into that shape to begin with? So he'll share with you, you know, a little bit more about his story. Uh, but the real question is, you know, you, you know, what's your goal? Why do you want to do this? Why now? What is it that's going to uh, keep you from quitting? Because I firmly believe, guys, this is the last weight weight loss advice that you ever need. Okay, and and I think we should probably say, you know, here at the end, if there's, if, you know, I'm sure there's some women watching. We've been kind of talking, you know, for guys, uh, but there is a women's version of this program too, and it and it and it fits in perfectly. This program 
was designed by a husband and wife. Um, they put this together. Um, so absolutely, women, we know you're lurking. We know you're watching. Um, uh, yes, it'll, yes, it'll work for your husbands. Yes, it works for guys. But it also works for women, too. Now, there's some nuances to the women's program. Um, and you'll want to get your hands on that women's program. And Sean, Sean can get you that version, too. But um, any final advice that you have, uh, Sean, for anybody who's looking at this? I know sometimes when you answer an ad on Facebook, you're like, ah, I don't know about this. But then we got on the phone and we connected. What would be your advice for someone who's, they know they need to make some changes um, and uh, they're kind of on the fence about pulling the trigger. What, what would your advice be to them now that you're, well, you know, knowing now what, you know, if you'd have known this 30 days ago, what would you have told yourself? What would that advice have been? Um, that's great. Um, the thing, the advice I can give, I give myself is, listen, you got one life to live and you only got one body. This is the only one and only vehicle that you're going to get. And so if you're not going to take care of your health and nobody else will, and that's one thing I learned, it's a battleground out there. It's a battleground in the grocery store. It's a battleground at the restaurants. It's even a battleground when you go out to uh, friends and family for events. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, I've armed myself with the knowledge to help, not just uh, help in the short term, but this is really a long term. It's information that will stick with you to use for a lifetime. And it's not hard to follow and it's worth it. I mean, you gotta ask yourself. You gotta watch some videos. You gotta watch some videos, right? You gotta watch some videos like this one. There's some, so there's some, uh, there's like online modules training that you have to go through. And at first I was like, ah, oh, geez, do I really have to watch all these videos? But I mean, the content was, I mean, just tough, uh, uh, right? Animal. Let me, let me tell you. And, I, and that's why I'd asked you before I said, um, can I watch these modules again? Or is that going to be it? Because the, the amount of information, what it far exceeded my expectations, mm -hmm. uh, for what I thought I was getting myself into, it really just, it, it blew the doors off what I was expecting. And, um, I'm just speechless. I only, it would have taken me years to do my own research. And that's what I was doing. Yeah. And uh, I'm learning more about keto. I want to learn more about yeah. gout. I want to learn about fix all this. And it's right there. Um, the hydration, the micronutrients, the sleep, it's a total mind-body program. So yeah. it's all you really need. It, this is the last diet advice you, you need. The guy, the guy who put this together, um, uh, and, and Sean can share the video with you. You can learn more about this. But the guy who put this together, his, um, uh, him and his wife, his background, he was, um, he was former Navy Special Ops uh, underwater bomb squad EOD. So the dude diffused bombs underwater for a living where, you know, very high stakes, very methodical checklist SOP. Um, so this guy went, he went through the paleo, the keto, the South Beach, every diet program out there, all the studies. And he wanted to develop something that would work for older guys. You know, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're still young and but guys over 40, you wanted to make sure it worked for guys over 40 uh, who maybe couldn't work out as much. Uh, so he tested it on guys from age 40 to 80 uh, and got tremendous results. And he got such good results that um, uh, all the wives wanted in on it then too. So his wife basically took the same information and packaged the program for women. And now the women's program has just taken off even more. So it's, um, uh, and, and they developed it out of necessity, right? So um, kind of like, you know, I, I had trouble losing the weight after my wife had uh, our, our son, um, Laura, Tim's wife. Um, she, it was just really stubborn losing, losing that last 25 pounds after, uh, after her son was born. Um, and this program did the trick and Tim had gained the weight right along there with her. So, um, uh, you know, to have something that they could take the weight off as, you know, for me, it's like, as a new parent, it's like, who's got time to go to the gym. Right. But if I, if I can educate myself on, on what to eat, um, and what to do, what not to do, it made all the difference. So these modules that you're talking about, I mean, tremendous, tremendous amount of value, great information. Um, and I've been, uh, I've been kind of evangelical about it. It's like, why, it's why I created this group, this perfect day lifestyle group, because I just feel it would be selfish of me to keep all this to myself. So, um, Sean, I'm proud of you, man. I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, thank you so much for uh, staying up late here with me tonight. Just Thanks share your story because I think people are going to be really inspired by this when they see that somebody who's busy, uh, parent has a busy lifestyle when they see that you can do this without starving yourself without having to go to the gym you can get results this is sustainable it's simple it's based on sound scientific principles 
um, cause it's about healing. It's about healing, um, healing your body. Uh, and it's not telling you to just go to the gym and work out three to five times a week and, and you know, cut back on your calories. But what I love about this, you know, it's easy to follow meal plan. Yeah. We've got some supplements that are really going to kind of help you kickstart things, help you develop those habits. But we've got this group, right? We've got this group and we've got this private group too. So this is like the public group, but we've got this private group for everyone who, everyone who gets the program, we kind of bring them into the family and we have this, you know, private, this private group here. Um, so as you, as you have questions and you, if you're struggling a little bit, you can post there in the Facebook group. Uh, we get together on webinars every week and that's going to help you overcome, you know, you know, cause you got conflicts with like family obligations, uh, the work stress, the, um, you know, the, uh, the social expectations, all those, it's real. Those are real things. We all have busy lifestyles. So we're trying to have, we're trying to eat like, you know, this perfectly balanced meal plan to have perfect days, but we're not perfect. Okay. Um, uh, stuff's going to happen. Life gets in the way by having this group, by having this accountability, you know, uh, by putting yourself out there a little bit, hearing stories like Sean, stories like mine, um, it's going to make you, it's going to give you the, it's going to give you the confidence that you can do that. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. And you know what? They are perfect days. They call them perfect day meals, you know, but I haven't been perfect. I've been yeah. near perfect and still achieve these results. So you don't have to be perfect to do this, but yeah, the coaching is there. The knowledge is there. The groups are there. So you're not doing this on your own, you know? So it's, it's nice to have. If Sean can do this. Sean can people. do this. You can do this. If I can do that. And I have no cooking skill. I've developed some cooking skills over these last six months. I have this little, uh, cooking for dudes, uh, yeah. cooking series okay. on YouTube. And if you, if you have any cooking skills or your any training as a chef, you're going to laugh at me, but Hey, I get it done. I get it done. I, I prepare food. I do the grocery shop and I prepare food for my family. I, I do all the prep on the weekend and we've got other videos here in the group that can show you how to do that. So don't let this intimidate you. If you're like, ah, I'm a single guy, I don't know how to cook. Look, like, like if I can do this, you can do this for sure. Oh yeah. I meal prep maybe a few days out of the week. And what's great is, yeah, I spend time in the kitchen, but I'm not rushing home from work trying to say, oh, I got to get my fat in. I, uh, I got bacon and eggs. I used to eat bacon and eggs for dinner 90% of the time, you know, but now it's, it's so much better. Um, I'm more focused. I got things prepared. And like I said, you got time discipline. You got to have a, a little bit, but it mm -hmm. works out in the long run. You know, it's, it makes things easier to handle. Awesome. Well, guys, we appreciate you. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you here uh, in the group, um, in the Perfect Day Lifestyle group. If you want to know more about the program, you can reach out to Sean directly. You can reach out to me. We will get you all set up. Talk to you soon. Take care.